show that the grind never stops is these two lads. <laughs> uh, it's it's so funny because like a Pokemon like when when Wi-Fi was very revel re prevalent, Pokemon would do so well in the Wi-Fi tournaments, and then Jay Jay wouldn't really play Wi-Fi tournaments. This man just plays Elite Smash. It's, it is it is so funny that like <laughs> this grind is Elite Smash and like. He just turned into like such like a disgusting player to play against from it. Like, it's actually crazy. The, yeah, the grind of these two are so like different, but like respectable. I love it. You yeah, know, I actually really like this, the, like the rise of Jake Grunt, as it were, <laughs> because it's a very unorthodox approach to Greninja. It's not what we're used to seeing when it comes to New York. So, like the fact that he's bringing such a different flavor and he's making it work clearly if he's in tonight's top eight. Not even just top eight. He's in winner semi. Yeah. Even after this, he still has another chance in losers. Like that's crazy. Oh, nice smash. Oh. Dude, that's like the third time now that Pokemon's just managed to catch someone on a bad landing with up smash. Yeah. That mine's not fast, <laughs> but it's good enough. For it's Pokemon. actually it's actually pretty good out of shield too, and it combos into it for some reason. That's an interesting up for down tilt. Let's see. What is Jay's option here now? Because you really don't want Villager to hold the lead too hard. We saw this earlier on stream when uh, Pokemon had to fight Rock, but like, character can snowball ridiculously because he has the tools to play aggressively. It's just typically speaking, because of its slower buttons, he doesn't want to. But while you've got a stock lead, look at the percentage he was able to build up on Jake Run. He's almost lapped him right now in a cheeky pivot grab. Oh, he's about a lap him. That F smash is so dangerous right there. Yeah, especially for Greninja, because Hydro Bomb can do a lot to adjust how you're recovering, but if you're forced to recover laterally or low, you, you just, you gotta hold that. Oh yeah, Greninja is very susceptible to those F smashes, but j Run has actually been positioning himself so low and using his shurikens or like maybe a bit of his aerials to just like deny alum from that cheeky, cheeky F smash. Excellent chase from Jay Grind. All right, all right. Man, just stomp me hard with these snares, but he's bleeding heavy on the second stock. And that's how you first. Yeah, or third stock. Okay. Gotta be careful with moving around watering can. It's not a especially large wind box, but if you do run into those little water droplets, it's gonna break up your movement to the point where Villager can sort of leave you in place for the tree to grow on top of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, Alam has been going for that setup every now and then. No, yeah, it's high risk. It's low risk, high reward. Oh, yeah. Because, like, worst case scenario, you just oh, sort of, like, oh, get beat off. Low, low key, I really wanted <laughs> Jay to wrap a jab right there. <laughs> just to give just to give Pokemon a little bit of his own medicine. Oh, it would have been funny. <laughs> it would have been hilarious. Wow, that counter is just... Ah. Yeah, no, substitute's really important in this matchup because if you don't have a way of just navigating around uh, Lloyd Ride... You can use it as your in, and if Villager isn't set up properly, like you just have us to respect the fact that you just fly in. Oh, the Nair's actually gonna trade with the Greninja up smash. That is so unfort for Jay right now. Yeah, no, he's still on the hunt. I I wonder if. Oh wow. Yeah, down tilt not strong enough to kill just yet. Dang, I did not think that Villager could. Oh my god, that was such a great tech. I did not think Villager could actually get a like land a fair that low because you know uh, Greninja is such like a such a small hurt box and everything. So that's no, yeah, really especially fun. while running along. Oh, that's dead. Especially when running around, like Greninja sits very low to the ground. So as Villager, you have to keep your distance in mind because it, the slingshot itself is not a straight shot. It does arc downwards. Yeah. So if you're at like not max distance, but like closer to like the far reach of it you were able to hit those low-sitting characters, and that's really important against characters like Greninja, who they want to take advantage of the fact that they're low. I wonder what Jay has to do here. I uh, Honestly, I think he just needs to get more off this hit. Yeah, like, he, he needs to bully Pokemon is what he needs to do. He needs to completely disregard the zoning tools that Villager has available to him and just start nairing, start back airing, take advantage of those boxing tools when you're in the air, and when Pokemon is on the ground, just Get him into the air on your call. 
Up tilt's actually really useful for that in this matchup. Well, yeah, you're right. We haven't seen a lot of up tilt in Jay's end right now. And part of that has to do with the fact that Greninja is just... He's very fast, but Pokemon is just keeping a lot of stuff in the way, so Jay Grant doesn't get an opportunity to showcase that speed. Ooh. He didn't get a hit on. Didn't even get a hit on. Actually, like, thinking about it more and more, I, I feel like Pokemon was, like, designed to, like, just, like, mess up Jay because, like, Jay, like you said, Jay, Jay is a very, like, different Greninja, and, like, I think one of the main things about that is, like, he's a very, I want to say, like, non-committal. Like, he'll take, he'll take his time to approach, and he'll try to dissect you as much as possible. But, like, Villager is so good at interrupting Greninja that, like, like, this play style and this character just beats him. It's, like, it's actually very bad the more I think about it. The patience is something that is, you know, traditionally rewarded in a game like this. But this is the, like, the 1 in 10 time you run into a matchup where you taking your time works for the opponent. Oh, yeah. Excellent chase. Not able to find his kill just yet, but he's staying on the hunt. What is he able to do? Ooh, oh, the hydro him up. pump. The hydro pump's actually gonna mess him up, but he barely gets back to stage. Villager has unusually good drift when he's in free fall. You think you've got him if his balloons pop? You don't have him. Oh yeah. Great tech on Jay's end right now. This is still going out, and he barely gets out of the counter. What's happening? Oh my god. Oh, that was such a weird interaction between the substitute and the log and Lloyd and all the hydro pump. Oh, Pokemon is just running wild. Oh. They're actually playing like a man possessed today. <laughs> like, Pokemon's good, don't get me wrong, but like, today is in like prime form. Today is his day. Alright. Jay is still kind of in it though. Like, you, you can't you can't count it out until the game's over though. You just can't. What? <laughs> He's gonna hold that water shuriken for later. Never or mind. I mean, it was only a little small baby shuriken, so it wasn't that bad. Jab. All right, just little bits of damage, just whatever. I'm surprised he didn't go for like a downhill or anything like that. I feel like it, it's kind of like small stuff like that, where it's like it's good to like get your guaranteed damage, but like at this point, I think you start to need to, th to like aim for the throat right now because the Pokemon is very good at just like chipping him away and like just denying any momentum. So, like, you just gotta go in. You just have to. Especially as a character like Reninja. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh. Oh, You're wild he went for, for it. it! He went for it. I mean, I don't blame him. Like, he's... He's so far in the lead. All the momentum rests on his side. Like, he can afford to go for it. Like, damn. This is, like, OD disrespectful, too. <laughs> it's funny because... Both of these are like mad grunt heads. Like, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Jay's starting to go in a little bit. Like grunt gang definitely showed up today. Oh yeah, they've been they, showing up. Like they've there been, is no denying that. They've been showing up to Long Island. They've been showing up. Uh, have they been showing up to the city? Oh well, Pokemon only got fourth last night at Zeno. True. So you got that going for you. Uh, Jigrum barely gonna live right there. That's how what that is Down smash, yeah, down smash can pick up a little bit. It does reach below the ledge. It's like down smash and forward tilt are your key moves for hitting below the ledge, but you almost never want to use down smash unless, for whatever reason, you want to pop someone up a little bit. Maybe he went for the, uh, I mean, he did combo into the Lloyd. Yeah, no, it, it worked. That's like the only situation it does work, but down tilt picking off from the ground, and Pokemon's gonna win a very confident 2 0 over Jigrum. Oh yeah.